You stop right there. Thought Patrol in action. Let's roll. Yeah, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to r slash just neckbeard things. Now if you thought that nice guys and incels were bad, oh you just wait till you see these guys. Now if you want to, like the video, comment down below if you have a subreddit that you'd want me to cover, and be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications to get free food. I'm pissed right now that oh, now all my neighbors are annoying. I just want to bash their heads in with a mace, lol. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Okay, just heads up, I'm only gonna read a little bit of this, like maybe half of it, because whoever made this, they they didn't know where the post started and where it stopped. And honestly, me trying to record over and over again to try to get this written and said right is honestly pissing me off. My self-summary, I perceive myself as an intellectual and a gentleman. Whilst I am no old-fashioned individual, I am very astute with today's technological advances. I believe in proper dress and conduct. On a typical Friday night, I am sipping wine and listening to classical music. I prefer my own company to the company of ignorance. Most private thing I am willing to admit, I am still a virgin and a cause of unfortunacies. What I'm really good at is many say I have a way with words, I had, and I have. You should, you could say, one argument over impossibly complex subjects such as religion and civil rights over the internet. This may not sound impressive, but the internet can be a ruthless pit for those unaware of its nuances. I can almost guarantee that he has at least three different katanas and a body pillow that stands up straight. A female protagonist just exists and neckbeards and incels go. Yeah, cause god forbid we actually get a good female protagonist and not like the two bad ones we've seen so far. You think coming out gay is hard? Try telling people you're only aroused by enemy girls. See how much acceptance you get from the tolerant left. Why can't I be Japanese? Being American sucks. <laughs> where, where, where are the subtitles? Teacher just confiscated my flipping mouse pad. Jeez, I wonder why! No one, neckbeards, milady. Okay, whoever's the sick neckbeard that decided to put that fedora on that little good boy, you need to stop right now. Go home, wear that, duct tape it, flex tape it to your head, I don't care. Just take it off the little boy. Why the female cashier is being nice to you? She is uncontrollably sexually attracted to you. And it's be or it's because her flipping job, you cretin. This is definitely our favorite sign in the bar. Also, if dudes could stop trying to kiss our female bartender's hands, that would be great. I would think due to the type of crowd that it would attract, I would honestly see the sign more so at my local Renaissance Festival than I would at a legitimate bar. All right, next up we have the Queen of the Lake. Oh my God! <laughs> Elliot, who's 23 here, says that he likes anime and considers himself as handsome as Lucifer. Okay, you don't need to compare yourself to Tom Ellis. He is not in your league, not even in the ballpark, not even in the same game. Don't even try, dude. Hello, my lizard. Oh damn, this lizard be a thick boy. In this moment, I am euphoric, not because of any phony God's blessing, but because I'm enlightened by my intelligent Lewis. Oh god, he looks like somebody I swear I went to college with. It, look, if you go to any community college and go to the cafeteria, you can probably see like six or seven of those guys in there. Like, I, I'm not kidding. Once you've dated me, it's mathematically impossible to do better than me in selecting another mate. After breakups, my exes have endured the likes of terminal brain cancer, no bullshit, suicide by lethal injection, decades of psychotherapy, prison time, and in other milder examples, have become gay or settled for men who in some way or other reminded said ex of me, you will never do better than me. Hashtag is set I said never. Well, for somebody who looks like the makeup artist at the beginning of Mulan that got inked everywhere, I think you might want to go back to your math class and think your equations over again. Alright, and that's gonna have to be it for the video. If you liked what you had seen, click the like button on this video, and subscribe to the channel with notifications to initiate protocol big moods. I will be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you, and bye-bye.